Hey guys, I thought I'd review this SodaStream Aquafizz. The Aquafizz is this model that does the glass crafts, as you can see here. And this particular package came with the two glass crafts and the machine. Um, let me just go over a couple quick things with you. I'll show you what I've learned about it and maybe save you some time. I wanted to go with the glass because I was obviously, I was uh, kind of addicted to the LaCroix limes in the aluminum cans. And I thought, hey, I'm probably drinking a lot of these aluminum can liner plastics or whatever it is in there. And I'm going through a lot of recycling. So I figured I'd go with the glass. I didn't want to go with plastic bottles. I was trying to get away from plastic and so forth. So I went with the real glass. And I do like the glass now. So I highly recommend it. It's it's very easy to use. And basically, I, I already made some. But you just fill the water up to here. And what I've been doing is filling it up to here throwing both of these in the refrigerator so that it's cold when you gas it, it works better that way. And then I'm just like gassing one of them. And as you can see, when I drink it, I, I, it's depleted. So I know that's the gassed one. And uh, I'm just doing basic uh, fruit like lime and stuff like this. And I, hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm just doing the soda stream and then some lime and that's keeping it simple. But, um. The one thing, uh, so to, to gas the stuff, you basically, I'll uh, show you what you do real quick. It's got some design flaws, but it's it's pretty good. So this is just the straight refrigerated water filled up to the right line. There's the line on the bottle. It's nice that they mark it for you. The caps are good. And then you just, um, what I like to do is, obviously you slide it down into place, you lock it. And then you're going to gas it a couple of buttons. And that big button up there is where you're hitting it. It's best if you do bursts. So short ones like that. Two, three. And I do it till it squeals out the gasket. Four. You can kind of hear it leaking, hissing at you. And the design flaws are that, I guess, you know, that works okay. But you'll see, like... I guess, I don't know if you let it sit or what. There's really not the best directions. I guess I could go online or whatever, but then you're popping it off, relieving the pressure. This thing rides up nicely and you've got your, your bubble water. Now, don't be surprised. It doesn't really look like it got gas when it comes out. So I actually did it twice because I didn't think it worked. But it actually does have the, the gas in it. So uh, here, the design flaws are that it spits out water and leaks on the counter. It's kind of messy. And here's the biggest design flaw I noticed. Um, this I don't know if my counters are shorter than normal, but these are basic standard counters. So you got 17, a little under 17 inches there. And this thing, even collapsed, is just too tall, as you can see. This thing will not fit under the counter. So that's kind of frustrating. I don't have any way of storing it under most of my counters because of the height issue. So I have to find a counter space that has no cabinets. So I was hoping to store it under the cabinets and pull it out when I needed it and be done with it. Obviously you have to close it or it's, it's even more tall. So that was the one design flaw I didn't like. They could have made it an inch shorter if possible. That would have been nice. But other than that, I like the glass crafts. Those are nice and the it works well. And I'm not using all these cans and having those plastic liners, you know, that you're digesting or whatever. And uh, I've, I like it. So I'm going to put a link down below. I appreciate any subscriptions. And it will go right to the unit. I got it on Amazon, as you know. And it was like 139 and change plus tax, including shipping. And it's basically as good a price as you're going to get. Uh, you know, two crafts is enough because I just rotate them. There are packages out there with three crafts. I don't think you need it. But hopefully that helps you guys save a little time, show you how to use it quick. I noticed that the burst method works good. Use the chilled water, like I mentioned, and you will not fit it under at least this height of cabinet, which is slightly under 17 inches. This thing is uh, obviously, let's see, this thing is like 17 and a half inches tall. You probably need... 17 and three quarter to get it under there reasonably well. Hope that helps. Talk to you guys later.